mommy. <laughs> and this is grandmommy. Grandmommy. <laughs> my name is Elena. This is my mom, Lisa. And this is my daughter, Analu. And we live in California. So Analu was born on October 9th of 2010. Um, she underwent all newborn screening tests and she um, went home. We treated her like a normal newborn. When she was two weeks, her pediatrician um, had gave us a call that her blood test came back abnormal. He didn't seem too worried about it, probably just an error. So we did a second reading um, that confirmed that she had severe combined immunodeficiency, also known as the bubble boy disease. At this point, it was called a pediatric emergency, so we had to keep her isolated from everybody um, to prevent infection. They had also told us that she would have to undergo a bone marrow transplant and receive IVIG treatments to maintain her health. Um, our stay at the hospital was between December and February. Um, in most cases with other families that I heard, that was really short, but that's three months that I had to keep her isolated in a hospital where there's a lot of sick people, a lot of infection, and it was pretty tough, especially around the holidays where I couldn't be with my family. We were not aware of SCID prior to her diagnosis. Uh, when we were told that she was diagnosed with SCID, immediately Elena and I did some research on SCID and the background and the condition. It's also known as the bubble boy disease. And so, um, uh, but we did not know a lot about it. But in doing our research, um, we found out, you know, a lot of information, very, very good information. Um, one of which she was going to need a bone marrow transplant in order to, um, you know, help to build her immune system. Mm -hmm. Had we not found out about Ana Lou Skid um, at birth, uh, it could have been devastating for us. Uh, eventually, she would have gotten sick. She would have, you know, maybe caught a minor cold, which would have turned into some type of infection, um, maybe gone into her lungs, pneumonia. It could have been very severe, and it could have possibly caused her life. Analu is doing great now. She is like a normal toddler. Um, she is no longer on any kind of medications whatsoever besides a Flintstone vitamin that she takes. Um, but besides that, she's pretty healthy. Um, anything like a normal cold or a cough, we take her to the doctor. We treat her like a normal baby. So yeah, she's pretty much been skid free since June of 2011. We're just so happy and truly blessed to have her in our lives. Um, we owe it all to the newborn screening. Had it not been for the screening, um, she probably wouldn't be here today. Analu today is a very healthy two and a half year old. She's happy, she's rambunctious, she's extremely smart. Um, she already knows her ABCs, her um, letters, her shapes, and um, she is the joy of our lives. Um, I could not imagine my life without her. Um, I refer to her, to my family and friends as mi corazón because mm -hmm. she truly is my heart. Um, I love her to death as well as my family, but um, she truly is a, a joy and she brings so much joy and life to our family because each state screens for different various conditions. And so um, given the fact that um, SCID is now being screened in 16 states, um, that says a lot. And so um, we really need to make sure that the remaining states are also pushing to have SCID added to the newborn screening because it saves lives. Um, I mean, if you look at Ana Lu, she's a healthy child today and um, it, we owe it all to the early detection progr program. Had we not heard about it so early in her life, it could have been devastating for us. As I mentioned before, we could have lost her. Um, so it's really important that other states that are not currently screening for SCID do get on the bandwagon and um, you know go to your congressmen, write to your senators, um, and push and advocate 
advocate because no one's going to be an advocate for your child unless you do it for them. So it, it really starts with us um, as parents and grandparents um, to do what we can uh, to help save more children um, because the screening is what's going to save a child's life.